hey guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel it's been a minute it's been a long while how you're doing how's everything been i've missed youtube a lot i've missed recording youtube videos a lot and today i'll be talking about something very very important something very special and unique i don't think i've spoken about this before but i think it's very very important to our well-being as human beings as human beings that are interdependent on each other factors that promote peace between we humans there's this popular saying that it's not it's not possible for two human beings two people that for them to live for a long time and they should not quarrel or fight or, or you know get in some form of disagreement or the other do you agree with that i don't know different people have different school of thoughts concerning it some agree that yes it's not possible for two people to roll for like two years three years and there'll be no time that they won't fight or quarrel or it's not possible for, for you to have roommates and you live with them and you're not fighting with them and some other things and do i agree i do not totally agree with that i think something that gives me so much confidence concerning speaking about this topic is the fact that i've lived with people for a long time now like i've had this great social life in the sense of um i did my secondary school at a boarding house for six good years and it's i mean uni now i've spent close to five years now you know, and all through the journey i've been living in like school hostels i've been living in rooms of at least four people in a room so i've been living with people in a closed and private setting and through these 10 years i noticed that yeah i've had different experiences with different people and concerning what i said that is it possible for you to live in peace with people over some time without having to quarrel with them without having to fight with them my answer with first of all is that who are those two people who are they first so what values do they hold three what are the rules of of transaction between them i mean rules of living together that binds them together so these three things are very very important in determining if two people will roll or not my bible tells me that can two work together unless they agree so first off is the fact that what are the values guiding them together if something is not properly put in place per se two people may not be able to live in peace to, together you would have heard of cases whereby people are roommates and every day they just keep fighting people are coming to say to them you hear of cases whereby there's this marriage where they just have to be fighting every time they have to be calling their pastor to come and sort out their fight they have to be calling outsiders to come and say to them so what are the values of these people have you heard of this saying saying hot people hot people is it are you someone that you are previously hurt by people in the past so when you get to meet new people you get to bring your your former mentality relating with them and then it causes violence in your relation with them and there's no smooth uh, networking with them so that's that's part of the reasons why i'm saying that first off the values that you hold the beliefs you hold for is one of the factors that will determine if two people can live together or not now today i'm going to talk about five factors that promotes peaceful coexistence if the, i believe that if these five things are put in place with you relating with people with you relating with that your friend that your co-worker at work that your co that your colleague in your team your teammate anybody you could be if you put these five factors together i can assure you i may not totally guarantee you but i can assure you that you will experience some level of peace some level of peaceful coexistence with the people that you are relating with the number one is take permissions we must have heard the saying that over familiarity breeds content there's this level of familiarity you are getting with someone let's say you are getting to know someone and with time as time is going by you feel like oh yes i'm very very close to this person whatever is this person is is mine whatever this person has is mine and you just have that free asset that free access that unrestricted access to the person's possession and you just you, you feel like oh today this person has a bucket of water i can just pick it up and use it this person has um uh, a, a tube of toothpaste i can just pick it up i can just use this person's possession any or any time one thing i notice is that at the end of the day it will cause problems if there's an unrestricted access to what anybody has because this person may have plans for what he has and let's say the particular day where he has a plan for this particular thing he has he kept it for okay i want to use it then you just go ahead and just take what the person has this is common in between the roommates actually and i'm just saying that 
if you do not learn to take permission from people that you are living with, you want to make it or whatever they have, and you just take it like that, someday is going to cause problems between you and such a person. So it's very important that you take permissions. Don't have that unrestricted access to everything the person has. I know, I understand that. Okay, when the friendship breaks up, the person can take yours, and you can take what the person has. But sometimes you should still take permissions, and you should be you should be polite about taking permissions. You feel like can you help me with this can i take this can you give me this and you get proper ways to take permissions and taking permission is very very important um, sometimes if you don't take permission it may seem like stealing in some kind of way if you understand what i'm saying and when you are taking what doesn't belong to you and and the person has no awareness about it it doesn't foster the friendship number two is the fact that take corrections yeah when two people are relating together it's very very possible that they hear against one another they, they offend one another maybe directly or in, indirectly there are sometimes that you do some things that you don't even count as an offense or, at all but your partner your colleague may take it as an offense so and there will be times that that your partner or colleague will voice out they are dissatisfaction about what you've done or what you did or what or what you said or whatever so you should be humble enough to take corrections when someone calls your attention to oh hey my friend i do not like this and oh please just like i'm sorry let your sobriety be genuine in the fact that when you take note of a correction you you make up measures not to fall for the same mistake again that shows that it is genuine so you should learn to take correction and also when you are relating with people be, be able to voice out your dissatisfaction about their attitude or their behavior be able to voice it out respectfully for example if you are offended about what someone has done and you just voice it out in a very very disrespectful manner you don't even care about oh this person is my friend for like two years about three years you don't even care about that but then because the person just offended you once you just come, you started insulting, you started getting violent, you started shouting, you started misbehaving as such a person as though you are the perfect one. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, in cases where you are offended, there's a way you can still come out humbly with wisdom, with the wisdom of God, with, with calmness. Number three, maturity. There should be a mutual respect between you and anybody you are relating with. Respect is one factor that that enhances bonds together if respect is missing trust me nothing can ever happen and in under maturity is love Ma maturity will help you to love your neighbor as yourself like the bible says that love your neighbor as yourself if you do not love your neighbor you cannot coexist peacefully with such a person so and also you need to respect respect in the fact that you should be able to say thank you greetings you let that let there be that humility factor you don't look down at people around you you don't just insult them and just speak to people anyhow because even if the person is younger than you and you are older there should be respect it should not even be the factor that commands respect respect should be a, a product of maturity and not necessarily age so that if respect is a product of maturity you will respect people that are younger than you you respect people that that you are even bigger than you are better than because you know that you are mature and this is something that i need to give out in order for us to live peacefully together number four honesty you see there needs to be sincerity in your transaction with anyone that you know one thing that will make a relationship last longer is trust and one thing that promotes trust is honesty if you are an honest person there's a way that is going to increase your trust in someone's mind the best you can be like oh this particular guy i can leave him with my property he will not do anything bad with it it will not go wrong so um you need to be very very sincere with people honestly cuts across you being able to come out truthfully to someone not playing anti panty not lying not coming black and white and you know you've been you get what i mean so i believe that honesty is a very very important factor in you relating well with people and finally the last factor we need to talk about is forgiveness you see you need to be able to look beyond situations beyond present happenings because there are people that lack this important virtue and it has caused them 
relationships that cost them friendships. Some people, you can do 99 good, but just that one wrong that you did, they can cut up their tie with you. And it's not meant to be in such a way because no one is perfect. When you are relating with people, there are possibilities that you're going to offend someone or someone is going to offend you. But that should not lead to you severing ties with people. You saying, oh, because you've offended me. I don't know the gravity of the offense, but I'm just trying to say that let there still be room for forgiveness in your heart. Let there be room for correction. You should get to know that every single person in this world is a work in progress. No one is perfect yet. You you just take it, take look take a look at how you learned f- through school. You made a lot of mistakes. You were given class works and maybe out of ten over ten you got eight over ten, you got five over ten, you got two over ten. They, and all of those mistakes are part of what makes you who you are right now. So yeah people will make mistakes. I don't know intentionally and unintentionally but um no matter the offense, let there still be room for forgiveness, for, for second chance for a person. Um, when people offend you, still try to look beyond the situation. And um, and also that's part of the reason why I say take correction. And when you offend people, be willing to apologize. Be willing to, be willing to apologize and, and express your, your sobriety about whatever wrong it is you've done. Yes, it is possible to live with people in peace and Harmony. I'm not trying to say that there will be there will be moment of misunderstanding and disagreement between your people, but the values you hold, your maturity and some other things will help you to quickly resolve situations. So um make sure you put up these factors that I have discussed. Make sure you, you put it in place while we listen to and I assure you that by God's grace you would last longer with people with your friendship you won't really just be breaking up with everything you can like so thank you for watching this video god bless you so much this is Joshua right here and thanks for watching subscribe to tell your friends to tell your friends goodbye